Hey guys, this is Jasmine, and I'd like to make a very special video today and show you guys my wedding binder and my wedding organizer thing. Um, this is a DIY project that I fell in love with, so I wanted to show you guys. If you guys are interested, you guys can um, either make one yourself or buy one off of um, eBay, Amazon, or Michaels. And this is just an awesome project to work on. Um, so you open it up here, and in my pouch I have um, index cards that I wrote, like, note to selves on, because I forget. Um, right here I also bought a, a pencil pouch and sticky notes, scented markers, um, I mean pens, highlighters, and paper clips. And these I got at the dollar store, including the pouch and the calendar. This calendar is really awesome. As you guys can see, I use it a lot. Um, what's awesome about this one is that it comes out of the pouch. So when this runs out, go ahead and print a new calendar, which I'm going to be doing because this only goes up to July of 2015 and our wedding is in October. So right here is the cover that I made myself. Right here I found it at the store, so I thought this is cute. So I put it in there. Right here, I think it's a luggage tag. I found it at the store and I bought that as well. Um, I will use that eventually, but just on my wedding day. Um, wedding dresses. This is my first section. These are all the dresses that I use to inspire me when wedding dress shopping. I did buy my wedding dress already. So here's a, here is a bunch of um, ideas for accessories. And here is a scripture that I liked and a fortune cookie. Um, right here is a David's Bridal Receipt because I bought my dress like I said. And my consultant's card if I had any questions. Right here is a reminder to tell me to get my dress steamed. Right here is just something that I cut out from the magazine because I thought it was cute. Um, right here in this pouch I have my coupons for everything under the sun apparently as like honeymoon coupons and stuff like that so right here is my service plan for my engagement ring right here is my bridal party I have my bridesmaids and my be uh, my maid of honor right here is my groomsman which is my uh, the best man and the groomsman right there so right there's my flower girls and um, the ring bear is unknown. So right here is our groomsmen and bridesmaids dresses. And well, groomsmen tuxedos and stuff. But I haven't put anything for the groomsmen's yet. Right here is like my dream bridesmaids dresses. They should be pink and a little bit longer and then it would just be perfect. I love the illusion sweetheart neckline. It is just amazing. Right here is the kind of pink that I like. Um, right here is a bunch of other dresses in pink that are cute. Right here is another style I like. Um, right here is something from a magazine that I got. It's basically like a color chart, which I really needed because my fiancé has no idea what I was talking about when I kept referring to like rose pink and pistachio green. So that helped a lot so I could just point to him what colors that I was talking about. Um, right here is another dress that I love. Like, this is just amazing. If it was pink, it'd be perfect. Um, right here is my bridal shower gifts and thank you. So, right here is the guests that are going to be at my bridal shower. I am not going to be in charge of my bridal shower. It's going to be my mom, which she is also my maid of honor. So, she's going to be planning all of that. Right here is my wedding checklist section, which I have this checklist from The Knot. And I have I have a lot of stuff that's already checked off, if you guys can see it. And um, right here is another page. This is the last page of it. Right here is my fiancé's checklist, which I am super jealous of because it's super short. And... I have a three page long checklist so I am definitely jealous about that. Um, right here I also printed out another checklist just because I like cross referencing it. It's optional but I did like cross referencing it. 
Um, right here is our uh, budget worksheet. I suggest if you guys are on a budget to print one out and put it inside of your binder because it helps. Um, this right here is a receipt pouch, which every time I buy something, I'm going to put it inside of this receipt pouch thing. So at the end of the wedding, we can see how close we were to the budget. Um, right here is a wedding tips. And this dress I absolutely love, but um, this is the wedding tips. Right here is about uh, like health and stuff like that. Um, this right here is called like a naked cake or something, I guess. It's just a cake that doesn't have any fondue on it and it um, has berries instead of filling. Um, I thought that was cute. Right here is like tips for the bride. Um, and here is a bunch of DIY projects and any DIY projects I find I usually incorporate my colors so just because it says um, like blue cards and stuff like that and blue napkin rings you can always have different colors that match your theme of your wedding and stuff so right here is makeup tips which I will be using um, they have some really amazing makeup tips and all kinds of tips inside of the Not um, magazines. I think I think it was 800 things. I don't remember what the name of it was. But here's my venue. Um, this is where we're going to be getting married at. It's going to be right on the lake. Um, right here is a ceremony. Um, there's a ceremony and reception colors. It's pistachio green and rose pink. And they just look absolutely cute together. In here, I'm also going to be putting my vows because I already wrote my vows. I have to just print it out and put it inside of this section. Right here is the program scrolls, which I thought they were cute. And again, I'm going to incorporate my colors for the wedding. Um, right here is a backdrop that I really loved. And it is just so cute. So I decided to put this in the book because I'm getting married around sunset. So by the time we take our photos, it would be really nice if we had something like that. Right here is a must-have picture for me and my fiancé because this is just so pretty. I love it. It's cute. Right here is another ceremony that we'll be doing is a rose ceremony. So we'll do this instead of like unity candles or any other ceremony. Um, right here is my guest folder. So I have everyone's addresses and stuff so I can send them save the date cards and invitations. Right here is um, another guest sheet which I'm going to be copying all the stuff onto here so it would be nice and neat in my binder. Right here is the reception part. Um, if you guys are wondering, I did make all of these section things. So. Um, Right here is the menu, which I also made. We have everything figured out there. Right here is some reception ideas for, like, the tables and stuff like that. Very, very vintage, which I really like. Um, right here is another picture of where we're going to get married at. So pretty. Um, right here is um, a vintage suitcase, which we're going to be using for the cards. And it's just an amazing idea. Um, so, right here is another picture of uh, cards for the suitcase, suitcase cards things. <laughs> right here is the uh, sweetheart table, which is an adorable idea. I really like them. Now, right here is another picture that I would like to have because it's cute. And right here is a picture of our venue. Um, this is where we're also going to be getting married, so here's another picture of it. Um, here's the centerpiece idea that I had. Um, this is like super inexpensive too. Um, if you're looking for inexpensive centerpieces ideas, I have a bunch of them because we are on a budget. So um, right here is another picture of the venue, which is super super pretty. Um, so let's see here. This was another uh, picture of another venue that we were thinking of, but we decided to do the other one with the gazebo. Right here is an idea for a sweetheart table. Um, right here is the wedding cake section. These are a bunch of wedding cakes that I like, so I put it in here. This one is my fiance's favorite. He likes the more detail on the fondue and not so much like extravagant on the fondue, like stuff like this, like flowers. He likes detail on the fondue, it's just crazy. But um, right here, 
is a nice cake that I liked. Um, this one was probably my favorite out of all of them, I think. Um, here are some cake toppers that I really liked. Um, this one was really cute, too. Uh, so let's flip it over here. This one's cute. It's really romantic. I like that one. This one reminds me of Cinderella, so I like that one. Um, right here one was more like a, a comedy one. I thought that was cute. Um, this one is the honeymoon section. And basically we have our honeymoon already figured out, so I have to fix this section. Um, right here is going to be the music section. Basically all the music that I want to be played at the wedding will be in here so I can have a copy for myself and a copy for the DJ. Um, here is the notes, a stuff that I'm obviously not going to forget but it's nice to have them written down, wrote down. So um, here is the binder, I mean the notebook that I bought at the dollar store as well. And I bought these at the dollar store too. So I thought they were super cute. And here are the rest of my index cards that I bought at the dollar store. So, that is it. And you guys, my binder is definitely under construction still. I am not finished with it. There's a bunch more stuff that I have to put in it. It's actually gotten so big that I'm going to have to change out the binder. So, when I upgrade the binder and fix it a little bit more I will be doing an update video on my binder so thank you guys for watching and go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys later